All right, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm getting a little bit tired of uh, making these videos. So unless anything major happens, this will be the last time I talk about this Mr. Beast drama because I wanna get back to a more positive direction. So with that being said, let's finish this, okay? So now we are in a situation where apparently Dogpack404 is getting sued. Dogpack404 got a cease and desist from uh, the Mr. Beast crew. So let me uh, read this real quick. So cease and desist immediate attention required. That's very interesting. So dear Mr. Dogpack404, he doesn't want to leak his, ne his last name. Uh, that's fine. Satan Lord of Darkness. It's probably uh, uh, somebody within the Mr. Beast crew. Represents your former employer, Mr. Beast YouTube LLC, MBYT, or the company. <laughs> It's just called The Company. Brilliant. Uh, I am writing to you regarding your recent troubling conduct, conduct following your involuntary termination from employment with The, with the Company on April 19, 2024. Uh, that, funny enough, that's the day I got into the accident. <laughs> that, that's the day where I got my wrist broken. Uh, funny, how, funny how the universe works. Uh, specifically, it has recently come to The Company's attention that you have been, among other things, disclosing sensitive, confidential, and prop... Uh, proprietary information regarding the company's business operations and content creation met methodology in breach of your contractual and legal obligations to the company, including the contractual post-employment obligations set forth in the confidentiality and non-disclosure agreement, they put agreement in uh, brackets, executed by you in connection of your employment. Uh, wow, so... Uh, they're trying to silence my boy for, you know, revealing a lot of uh, sensitive information. I mean, I did say in that first video, it's, it was very brave of him, very brave of Doc Pack to say what he said because he could have, you know, like he could have gone cease and desisted immediately after, but apparently it took, uh, it took a little bit to get there. So apparently this is like a video. Uh, I'm gonna play this. So Let me see what this Mr. is about. The legal team did send me a cease and desist, and here's my official response to that. You wanna see slander? Mr. Beast hiding pedos at his company? But he does charity. Other charity motherfuckers. That's crazy. Don't forget his philanthropy. <laughs> Where's the money actually going? Oh yeah, this was when Team C's was a thing. As of today, all 34 million pounds of trash from Team Seas has been removed from the ocean and certified by a third party. I mean, hopefully that's Thank true, you. but... 991 days to clean up 8 hours of plastic pollution. Uh, 90 million pounds uh, per day. And this made 90 million pounds per day uh, of plastic under the ocean every day. That's roughly the equivalent to dumping two garbage trucks full of plastic into the ocean every minute. So, uh, so 34 million pounds in 991 days. Okay. All right. I'm just getting the information. NAS, NASA engineer can't do research. Are they talking about Mark Rober? Uh, oops, cleaning the uh, Great Pacific garbage patch was probably a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, nearly all environmental scientists agree that ocean plastic pollution is a problem we can clean our way out of. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, because people keep dumping things every day, so... I don't know what Jimmy's talking about when it comes to, oh, we cleaned all the pollution. Peace philanthropy selling out to the highest bidder. Yeah. Facts. Chandler is someone who I, uh, is the only like sane person on the crew right now. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, they're rushing to him. All the kids. <laughs> well, yeah, that's literally how he is right now. Bruh. Really? Carefully crafting the worst chocolate flavor you've ever tasted. I mean, in your life, I I, I have not seen, uh, not seen. I have not tasted the new Mr. Beast Feastables. I mean, I'd love to try them for shits and giggles, but like, the the old ones were fine. They like 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 the crunch one was really good. Everything else was like not too bad, but like, 
Apparently this tastes bad. I don't know. I'll have to see for myself. Commentary YouTubers looking for ways to defend Mr. Beast. Hey, I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. Bruh, okay. This is going too fast for me. Pokemane. <laughs> Jack says guy being right all along. Bruh. Has a shield of current criticism. I was actually poor. Bruh. Pretend like he hasn't owned this Model X Plaid for a year. <laughs> for president while never taking a stance on anything. This is going too fast for me. I'm not really like able to process everything, so I'm just gonna read it. When three guys bake some cakes, <laughs> for real. When sh when Shadman is promoting little CP. <laughs> I mean, with DNAs and seasons. Yeah, for real, he's dodging them. <laughs> for real. <laughs> My mom's signature. Bruh. Really? You're a minor in 2024. Bruh. That's where his mods. <laughs> I'm just finding out about this now. You knew, Jimmy. You knew. James Charles still holds a record for the most most now subscribers lost in a single day. I mean, all right. So all, all we all we took from I mean, all the, the most important thing is the cease and desist letters. So some updates. I was originally going to expose Mr. Beast's philanthropy efforts being more uh, for aiding private uh, in interest and, uh, and boosting Mr. Beast's image than actually doing anything good. But in that investigation, I came across something more interesting that no one else has ever, uh, ever found. Part two will be far more damaging to Mr. Beast's career than part one. As far as Mr. Beast's uh, largest fundraiser team sees it's pretty well known that it had no statistically significant impact on ocean pollution still people will say well it's still better than nothing i mean yeah i mean he's kind of, it's kind of, it's they're right on that one this is a drastic oversimplification that doesn't factor in the money time effort and carbon costs associated with raising the money and removing the trash also where did the trash go landfills where over time it will break down into microplastics that will blow back into the ocean. He's he's spitting facts right now. <laughs> or recycling plants. D Y O R. I don't know what that means. Or why why recycling is a lie. Team C's also promoted the false narrative that plastic pollution uh, is a problem solvable by people. And here's a clip of uh, Finding Nemo when they put the Beast Burger guy in charge of saving the ocean. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Well, well wait, well, where are you going? It's over, Dory. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> All right, uh, good, good, good one, man, good one. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's another one. In this interview with uh, Mark S. Brownlee, Mr. Beast even acknowledges that it was not actually about the impact of removing 30 million pounds of trash, but Team Seas was frequently advertised as a way to save the ocean. Uh, so apparently this is an interview. It's not necessarily about the 30 million pounds. It's about the inspiration. Exactly. It's about the positive net influence of people coming together and demonstrating something powerful. So yeah, and just showing that people care. Honestly, yeah. it's not necessarily. I mean, it's about what did he it's say again? I mean, the 30 million pounds. It's about the inspiration. Exactly. It's about the positive net influence of people coming together and demonstrating something powerful. So yeah. And just showing that people care, honestly. Yeah. Interesting. Team Seas was frequently advertised as a way to save the ocean, but in all Team Seas marketing material, they never once addressed how corporations and governments contribute to the issue. Why should the internet care about Team Seas? Well, I mean, if you care about the ocean, you should care about Team Seas. We're saving the oceans in two ways. You help us save. The ocean. Really? I'm trying to raise some money to help save the ocean. Where I'm gonna go lie and go with it so we, you know, raise money to save the ocean. If you want to see me Ow. and Mark Rubin wow. suffer Ow. and save the ocean, Ow. 
You get a I'm save gonna the lie ocean. and save the ocean. That lying part really caught me off guard. That's crazy. This video was uploaded by Team Seas three weeks ago. Continues to push the false narrative through uh, intentionally vague claims. Team Seas has proved that when a huge amount of, of people get together to help make things better on this planet, big things can happen. No, Mark Rober. Uh, Team Seas uh, proved. Uh, oh, so this is a quote by Mark Rober. Uh, uh, no, Mark Rober. Team Seas proved the exact opposite. It proved that even when there was a, her a Herculean effort to reduce plastic pollution, even when all the largest influencers on the internet rallied uh, their audience towards a cleanup solution, it did not make enough but a positive difference. Team Seas is proof that when a huge amount of people get together to help make things better on this planet, big things can happen. Shut up! Bitch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. You're speaking facts, Dwayne. You're speaking real facts. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, there's more. How many more is there? Wow, there's a lot. Uh, we're going to go through all of it. Uh, why not? Uh, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober also went on to promote single-use plastic garbage. Uh, uh, this video by, is by Dan Ann, so that's his name, goes more in-depth on it. Mark, I like your content. Uh, I like that your content promotes STEM uh, for to, to kids. You seem like a nice guy, but come on, you should know firsthand that cleanup efforts like Team C's are useless, and this problem is only solvable through regulatory action like banning unnecessary single-use plastics. So why did Team C's never mention corporate pollution or push for a ban or unnecessary single-use plastics? And instead push the narrative that this problem is solvable by people in cleanup efforts. Could it be that 50% of the money went to a, a Peter a Thiel funded startup whose largest sponsor is Coca-Cola? What? And Materia Renovabile. Uh, in fact, 56% are the, the 56 companies are responsible 50% of the world's plastic pollution. I wish the top five are the Coca-Cola Company, Pepsi, Nestle, Demone, and uh, Morris International. That's crazy. Coca-Cola and the Ocean Cleanup are partners. That 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 sounds very ass backwards to me. Uh, that sounds very ass backwards to me. Uh, let's see. There, what, what is this next? Oh, this is an article. They lied. Plastic producers uh, deceived public about recycling. Report reveals. I mean, companies lie all the time. And this is the same thing we read earlier. So yeah. Jimmy, I mean, dog dog pack is going in. Why, why does it happen? Why, why does it keep doing that? Why is plastic pollution so bad anyway? I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, but. Doc Pack is gonna address this here, apparently. The, he went in, look this, look at all these ginormous things. I'm not gonna read these, obviously, but uh, it, it's clear how much research he, he put into this to make sure that, you know, he's like not speaking out of his ass here. So why is plastic pollution so bad anyway? First, the scale of this issue is unfathomable. Some scientists say that the average human consumes more than 1,000 microplastic particles per week or five grams or one credit card worth of plastic every week. That is a very weird analogy. One credit card worth of plastic every week. Uh, microplastics have Trojan horse effects that allow them to pick up and hold a variety of different chemicals that they come in contact with, including the over 10,000 chemicals that have been identified as plastic uh, additives. 24... Uh, 2,400 of which have been identified as uh, detrimental to marine and uh, terrestrial life, and 1,000 of which have identified as uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs. And I'm guessing these are explanations that go even more deep into it. So, so yeah, the the man is doing his research, bro. This is some shit I probably would have done for like. Like, uh, for one of my science classes back in, like, 11th grade. Uh, depending... Well, why does it keep doing that? Depending on the size of these microplastics, they can phase through uh, gastrointestinal tracts, cellular membranes, and even blood-brain barriers. Phasing like Danny Phantom. 
all while uh, potentially carrying thousands of different chemicals that are attacking your body in ways that are mostly not well understood or researched. It's almost impossible to study microplastics because there is no control group. No humans on this planet have not been exposed to MPs uh, and their associated chemicals. Microplastics are effectively biological malware. And I'm guessing that this is the diagram showing how how this can uh, be affected. And, the, and there are other posts that are deleted? Oh, man. I'm guessing they must have spread, like, uh, false information, most likely. What the hell is happening with this? I, I personally b believe uh, widespread pollution of plastics and their associated chemicals is the second largest issue facing humanity right now after AI. Facts! I can't believe... Wow. I... I'm vibing with Dogpack404 right now. He knows that AI is a massive problem. That's crazy. Uh, a possible solution. In November, the United Nations will meet with for the fifth and final time to negotiate an, an international plastics treaty that aims to reduce plastic pollution. In past uh, meeting, the U.S. government that has been unwilling to come to agreements to ban un unnecessary single-use plastic manufacturing, instead advocating for corporate interests like increased investments into tax-funded recycling and waste management solution, the same ones that haven't worked for the past 30 years. So in my opinion, before the November meeting, there should be a large push on social media in support of banning unnecessary single-use plastics, like Team C's, but actually effective at doing something. Fifth session, I INT5. So I'm assuming that this is more information regarding the meeting. Uh, and this is uh, showing overwhelming support for banning single-use plastics. The global average is 85%. I'm surprised he brought up this information. Anyway, this was kind of an unstructured rant, probably full of spelling mistakes. There, there were no spelling mistakes, bro. Uh, I wrote this high on meth, bro. <laughs> okay, that's your first L, bro. Why are you writing a high on meth? Every, every all, of, all of the, me, me, most of your information has been great, but why are you writing high on meth? Uh, but I wanted to address how Team C's was a complete joke, explain the scale of plastic pollution and why it's such a big issue, and offer a potential solution. Also, yeah, part two is going to be in a different direction, but when it comes out, Mr. Beast is 100% done. There's going to be a part two? There's going to be a part two to the first video. So apparently there's more stuff to go over. Uh, apparently they, they put out another season desist against dog packs. Let's read this. Final warning. Wow. Dear Mr. Dogpack404, again, he doesn't want to uh, reveal his l f f true last name. You, you do you. This firm, new firm whose white-collar criminal defense practice is second to none, according to their website, has recently been retained by Mr. Beast YouTube LLC, Mr. Beast or the company, <laughs> and its founder, Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast's real name, regarding the unsettling news that you have embarked on a campaign to this disparage Mr. Beast as a company and defame Jimmy Donaldson as an individual. Not only are your statements about Mr. Beast and Jimmy Donaldson untrue, they also violate the clear uh, the clear uh, bending and for enforceable terms of your confidentiality and an NDA with Mr. Beast dated March 25th, 2024. If you have to make your employees sign an NDA, that is absolutely unreal. The NDA agreement, which you have showed in videos uh, posted to the internet, then prove it. You have all the footage, but instead of posting any, you've just you've just been deleting more. They've been deleting footage. I didn't know that. Uh, also, my number got leaked. What? Apparently, from a Mr. Beast employee named Kaylee. I've been getting texts from former Mr. Beast employees that I received last night. Claims that James wants to have private investigators start following me and looking into my family's social media accounts to find a way to discredit me? That's fucking messed up. Uh, apparently the best narrative they have uh, right now is that I'm a crazy drug addict, Mr. Beast superfan that got fired for trying to steal company funds. If this text is true, I will say, Mr. Beast, if you want to resort to personal tax, I'm happy to reciprocate or, you know, just address the evidence. Apparently, there's some text here. 
I mean, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, like you guys can read them, uh, but I'm guessing they go more into the situation. And I'm guessing this is a screen recording, uh, most likely uh, by like uh, somebody who relate to Mr. Beast. This is so creepy, leave. Hello, what, now you don't respond? I think Dawson is like some, uh, is probably Dogpack 404's name, but uh, I don't, I can't say for sure, but I think he said, I think that's what he said, or I think that's what Chucky said in the, uh, in, in the, in one, in his tweet that's completely dog trash. We covered that in the previous video, but apparently I think somebody texted him saying that this uh, is bad and that he's providing true evidence. Like, how dare he? Uh, on drug use ac accusations. Uh, to be clear, because some people can't tell when I'm joking, I have never been a drug user. Okay, so uh, so I guess uh, high on meth was a joke then. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, weed makes me anxious. I tried microdosing shrooms for depression, anxiety for a week over three months ago. Uh, honestly, the taste just made me sick, so I stopped. Wouldn't recommend anyone to use illicit drugs, but I consider myself an advocate for psychedelic research. Don't really care for a filter to, to filter everything I say through lawyers and PR people. Sometimes I say dumb shit, but my video was well researched. I'd obviously rather Mr. Beast just focus on disproving the evidence than trying to publicly destroy my character with baseless drug use and mental health accusa accusations. But it appears that, that that's the only option they have. Also, I literally smoked 500 cigarettes before writing this. <laughs> Well, what about stealing? Somebody says, what about stealing company funds? Probably this. Uh, I asked for the gas reimbursements I was promised and was denied because it wasn't an approved business expense. It was. And I should have just taken the plane. I have heard multiple stories from four Mr. Beast employees not getting promised reimbursements. Anyway, after that, I sent a business expense request for an Apple Vision Pro, which I was told the company wanted to get everyone. This is when they were uh, new and didn't seem like garbage. I sent the request to, to the wrong person, even though it was the person HR told me to send it to but it never got purchased and even if it even if it had it would have been owned by the company so I really don't see any legit uh, narrative that I tried to steal company funds as if I was some embezzling mastermind and not just a dude with a $100 limit on his company card so it looks like uh, oh so it looks like uh, Jimmy is even in even more hot water uh, thanks to this and the thing is he actually uploaded a video earlier today as if he's not g Going through these crazy allegations and I, I feel like you know, it's kind of obvious uh, why he would just ignore them because This man is the biggest creator on the planet with 300 million subs. I think the last thing he wants is uh, to lose all of those subscribers, so yeah Jimmy you're in even more hot water, and apparently part two was going to destroy your career, so, uh... I think, actually, maybe we- I think I should make a live reaction to part two. It's been a- it's been a minute since I've streamed, so I would love to uh, do another stream, but this time we're reacting to part two. So, Dogpack, uh, if you're watching this, uh, just know that I want to react to part two of why Mr. Beast uh, is finished, uh, like, live. Uh, hopefully you give me permission to do that. If not, then I'll just talk about it on a regular video. And that'll probably be the last time I talk about this situation because it's been kind of exhausting for me to, to do uh, all of this uh, reading and, and the editing uh, to, to like frame by frame to, to discuss what I'm talking about. It's kind of annoying to me personally. But then again, uh, I'm a YouTuber and I'm the only one doing everything. I'm the one that makes the videos, edits the videos. So... I most likely have to put up with the bullshit, but I won't lie, it's been getting a little bit on my nerves. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm out, and hopefully Dogpack uh, gets the last laugh.